Hello everyone, welcome to San Antonio. Texas. Yeah, Texas of course. Um we have Texas. Come here. And we have just had some amazing food. We're back here because the food, we're here what, last month. And we're back again. The food in this town is off the scales. This this town knows food. food. <laughs> in particular Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, well, um, we're on our way back to Florida from Colorado. So we figured we know we got to come back to Texas because, you know, our Texas video said so well. Not that I say mm -hmm. Texas, I mean like this part of Texas. We've done videos mm -hmm. in Northeast Texas. They're like, whatever. But when we did the Houston area, <laughs> when we did the Houston area, it really blew up. So, but Houston's about another three hours. And I, we've decided, you want to drive another three hours, Kenny? Not really. I can't do it. And, you know, we've, we're pretty much, we've done a lot today. Yeah. So we're not going to drive another three hours. We're going to stay here and we'll do Houston tomorrow or whatever. Probably. Yeah. And then we'll stay, stay we'll stay here one day. And our San Antonio videos didn't do, we'll do all it that great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, my San Antonio videos weren't the greatest as far as views. Uh, they, they did okay. Like, they did, well, we were on the north side of the city. Mm -hmm. um, the videos were okay. They were not incredible. Yeah. This is pretty. Yeah. The videos were not incredible. They were okay mm -hmm. in San Antonio. They did put a Rican flag in that car. Mm -hmm. They did okay. And, well, sometimes okay has to... It's not, it's not like that San Antonio did all that great for us as far as views, but we had a great time here. We had great food. Um, Austin did all right, and Houston really was, was the thing. Like Houston did incredible for us. And this time of day is the worst time of day for recording. But I figured, let me just do the video anyways, because we're here. And somebody might want to see. Um, we're going to just slow it down a little bit. And um, show you guys the city at night. And I think also the type of video we did could have been better. Yeah. We could have done better. I feel that we could have definitely done better. Yeah. So maybe we'll give it another try. It's a big city. It should have been Yeah. like Houston. It should have done really well. Yeah. But a lot of times when you like the city... And all you have is good things to say about it. It doesn't really do much for the algorithm. So yeah. it may have been, you know, we didn't, we didn't get the locals to comment and say, "Hey, you know, you whatever." It's usually the angry people that comment and trigger the algorithm. So since we, I love their speed bump logo. Yeah. You can tell somebody to do that in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Like somebody was like, "Okay, mijo, tienes que trabajar." Well, mama, estoy en kindergarten. Tienes que trabajar. Mira, pinta un carro sobre un speed bump. That's what came out. Look at our speed bump logo. It's not hilarious. It's like a kindergarten neighborhood. This looks like a good neighborhood. It reminds me of the neighborhoods in Tampa. Mm -hmm. Looks like Tampa. That our old truck. <laughs> 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 the red and white. Oh man, those days. Oof. Oof, we have come yeah, far. <laughs> we have. Not physically, but emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we're in Texas currently. We're in Colorado and we yes. couldn't even get out of our driveway someday. The, the, the Aponderosa. Mm -hmm. Oh, that can't be a good neighborhood. This looks like Tampa. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I don't think we... Did we really find like real, real hoods last time we were here? No. I don't think we did. This looks very hood around here. This looks like Los Angeles. Yeah. This kind of looks like Los Angeles. Ooh. I like the signs where it's from like the 1960s. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. This might be a more hood type of neighborhood. We might have not really hit the hood last time. Mm -hmm. Everything's going here. This looks pretty hood. I don't know, but I'm happy with my food experience today. Mm. This part of town reminds me of Tampa a lot. Taco Way. Taco Way. Taco Way. I like the logo of this. <laughs> so if I can get this to be a great cover photo. It might be a good cover photo right here. Del Village. Del Village. Yes, yes, yes. This reminds me of Tampa so many ways. I like it. It's kind of hood. It is. Nice. But it's also good. Well, they each their own. I would like to live here. I like to see the last time we were here. It seems like there's a lot of affluent uh, Mexican people, from what I can tell. I like Not only from last time we were here, but also this time we were here. 
You notice like some of the people here that are Mexican, like you can just tell when somebody's got money. Yeah. The way they walk, the way they act, the way they go about themselves. <laughs> or somebody who drives a popo -po car. Why would you drive a popo -po car if you're not a real popo? -po? Yeah. This neighborhood kind of looks kind of looks hood. This reminds me of Tampa so many ways. I know. I like it. I am currently drinking watermelon agua fresca. This city has some of the best yeah. Mexican food I've ever had. Menudo barbacoa. This neighborhood's definitely hard. Yeah. Like, this is definitely different. Kind of hood looking neighborhood. Yeah, we might have not hit the hoods last time. Last time maybe we just hit like normal areas. A city this big is going to have good neighborhoods, bad neighborhoods, in between neighborhoods. You know? There's a lot of rich people from Mexico here. Yeah. You can just tell the difference between poor people and rich people. Poor people are just too over the top. Rich people are just show. Like they're not worried about anything. Mm -hmm. Not even to worry about what they drive, not to worry about. You know, it's just living life. Mm -hmm. How to, a lot of gang graffiti right there. Yeah. Well, that looks hood that other way right there. Yeah. Yeah, this hair is starting to look kind of hood. I had a friend that lived here. He described it as living in gangland. Mm. 82 degrees. I see our old truck everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there it is right there. Literally. There it is right there. With the and I saw it. Every street I have gone to in this town has that truck. An old F-150. Why can I bring back those memories? I mean, no, I don't the even... truck we sold in Alabama. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's a common vehicle. For it the is. Truck. Corner. This is just called Corner. Coach's Corner. Like in Wetumpka. No way. I wonder if it's the same one. Probably not. La Fogata. That looks really, it'd La be Fogata, a really beautiful Mexican. experience. With all those lights and stuff. Yeah. Well, this is more of a hood than last time. I think last time, well, we came in through a pretty hood looking. I didn't like what I came, I'll be honest, I didn't like the hood we came in through last time. But I like this hood. Last time we came in here, we came in through a hood. I didn't like it. Remember at night? Yeah. I didn't like it at all. But I like this. This kind of reminds me of Tampa. Mm -hmm. It's your typical Spanish hood look. That I'm fond of. Um, typical Spanish neighborhood. Yeah, I'm very fond of Tampa. I like Tampa. Tampa's okay. It's never going to be what it used to be. No, it's not. It's just changing for the worse. So many people coming in just... Not even hunting places to stay. It's like, why would you go to a city if you don't even? Different times. <laughs> Texas. Definitely looks very different from the neighborhoods we were in last time. I don't think we got these vibes from the last neighborhood we no. were in last time. This is so this we were in ni the the problem was we were in nice areas last yeah. time. If look you film the, oh, look at that, look at that, look at all lights yeah. and stuff. If you film nice areas, no one watches the videos. Yeah. That's kind of sad, bro. Like, you have to go to the hoods when we do these videos. Mm hmm Like real streets and stuff. You show like regular nice neighborhoods, which is what I would rather look at sometimes. Although I'm I I've, I've kind of become accustomed and, and liked going in the neighborhoods. Like, I'm at the point where I like it. Mm -hmm. But we've come a long way from just showing completely bad neighborhoods <laughs> to just kind of finding neighborhoods that are kind of... Neat. Mm, it's it, we've evolved in our, in our process. <laughs> 
wonder if this street we're on now is going to be the other way. Would make sense. We're back in the town. like the outskirts of cities too like we'll have bad neighborhoods like it's just hard to, to know really but you can't really look at a map anymore because cities yeah. have changed a lot like now a lot of the neighborhoods that used to be suburbs back in the day are hoods now They are contrasting. Yeah. It's a different time we're living in. Yeah. A lot of places that used to be suburbans are now hoods. It's the people, color. People are getting, you know, all priced out of like the other areas, so they end up areas that were kind of good turned bad. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Every large city almost has the same homeless problem, the same bad neighborhood problems. It doesn't matter what the demographics of the city are, nothing. It's just every city's going to the same crap right behind. Mm -hmm. Bada back on. I'm gonna try making it. Hmm? I'm Be I'm Barbacoa. I'm gonna try making. I'm a slow cooker. This definitely looks very different than the neighborhood we were last time. Well, we're kind of on the north side now. This is a major road I can turn to. Let me see. All the way in the town. So it'll take us to that neighborhood we were in the last time that was kind of really bad. No. Where's the same one? All the car in front of us? Sorry to hear that. No. Different county. Louisville, Louisville. It's all about the extra high crime rate. There's anything on this one you need to get off because the upload speed was incredibly fast. I know I've recorded more than I can remember at this point. Mm -hmm. You have to look at the time of the videos and just match that up. I know. I know, baby. I know. Is that a spinning barbecue sign? Yeah. It spans. Bill Miller, Bill Miller. I miss when signs used to spin. They do here. I like it. Is that like a Texas thing mostly? Spring signs? I, I almost got is. a fruit cup, but I thought that would be too much food. There's many people walking in the ditch on there. Why? They want to walk in a ditch. Why? I don't know. You have a one? No. Two picks? No. Next road trip, I'll stock you up on toothpicks and bubble gum. 
Oh, we, we ate all the while ago today, right? Yeah. This isn't the type of neighborhood that Holland Colombian restaurant. I'm sure it does. Doesn't it look like the type of neighborhood that would? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like identical to Tampa. If it doesn't, you just gave a person an idea and it'll be up within a, a year. The restaurant will be here. This is like identical to Tampa, bro. <laughs> Texas. Texas. Tamales. This is gas station, bro. Look at this mm -hmm. gas station, bro. Supernova. This is like the coolest gas station I've ever seen. Um, if this isn't cover photo material, yeah. What is a store? They have a photo uh, of Facebook sign. Jose. What? It's like a place. It's a vape store? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good cover photo material. Yeah, they do make very good cover photos. Yeah, it lets you know how trashy the place is. Mm -hmm. There's nothing trashier than a vape store for cover photo material. That's about as trashy as it gets. They have some very entertaining... Uh, this is a very entertaining place. Yeah. All the businesses have like the shiniest. This camera's moving around a lot. It's trying to be a problem. I guess there's just too many bumps and speed bumps in this. I'm just trying to do the best I can to hold this in place. It is very entertaining, especially the businesses. Hey, there's a truck we bought a while back. <laughs> Give me. Smoke jump. CBD, 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 CBD. CBD, SUV, CBD, 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 SUV. Uh. Hopefully, this time the videos get more views. Mm -hmm. If you comment on the video, mm -hmm. Hit the like button. Mm -hmm. We make more money. Yeah. When we make more money, we can come back to your town more often. Yes. Michelle has been working nonstop with Malia and the Secretary of State to ensure that I can smoke outside the White House. <laughs> I don't think he does that anymore. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up talking like Barack Obama there for a minute. Uh huh. Like, I want to let you know that America is in good hands. I was watching Not a now. documentary that he uh, narrated. Like, he's got an interesting voice. But then the person. I think his voice is like 60% of what he's got yeah. going on. But then where I had it, they had it like in the Spanish version. I was like, I don't want to watch this version. I want to hear. I want to hear his voice. He's got a very I want to hear his voice. <laughs> yeah. Michelle. Malia and me are gonna be safe. Now you are not. We will be in a bunker and we will be secure. You won't. <laughs> we, the American people, are gonna be safe. And when I say we, I mean rich people like myself. <laughs> the rest of you are gonna struggle. We had tacos in Albuquerque and they're very good. <laughs> really what's interesting about Obama, the way he talks is how he punctuates himself. That's really what makes the way he talks interesting. Is nothing but just, just how he punctuates himself. He has good modulation. Yeah, he just stops and goes, stop and go, stop and go. Makes a point, lets it sink in, keeps it moving. Yeah. You can tell he probably took classes to talk like that. He did. Did he? You, you're supposed to. If you're a politician, you have to take classes to teach No, that. not necessarily. Okay. I mean, I think he, like, took some classes in college, probably. Mm -hmm. And he probably learned how to speak. I want to talk to you, the people of America. 99 cent store. <laughs> that still exists. Yeah, here. Okay. This is a very... I'm, like, curious to see what a 99 cent store is about. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I heard they have them in California, too. I 
I think a lot of rich people do take classes to teach them how to talk and how yeah. to do everything. This reminds me of Tampa, but with more lights and stuff. Melrose. Cano Health. <laughs> they have that in Florida, don't they? Yeah. I, I, your dad watches TV all the time, and I hear it talked about on his TV shows. The crap. See the line coming out the back like that? Yeah. That's the best place in town right there. When you see a line like that? Mm hmm It is Friday night, so people should be on and about. Yeah. The American public needs to know that I will be fine. The American public needs to be concerned about themselves because they won't. different from the last time we were here. It's a big city. It's got a lot of areas. <sighs> Look at that Yukonator right there. Yeah, buddy. Look at that Escalator right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that Cadillac right there, right there, like, yeah, buddy. Look at that Escalator right there, like, yeah, buddy. Look at that Coupe de Ville right there, like, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that store right there, like, yeah, buddy. A lot of stuff is closed. one street in Montgomery that's like this. Um, it's where the, where the Mexican place is. Yeah. And, and it has like the post like just like that and the business is laid back just like that. It's where we got our windows tinted. Yep, I remember. Yeah. Dude, look at all the lights and stuff outside all the corner stores. Is that a Wendy's food drug? There's no way that's legal. I have a knockoff Wendy's. You think Wendy's would actually have a food truck like that? I don't know. I doubt it. It's gotta be a knockoff. This looks hood right in here. This definitely looks really hood. You know it's like how hood up in there? Fish fry fry. Let's go back in here. There's a type of neighborhood where we might get carjacked or something. Yeah. I definitely have to go in here. Is that a Nipsey Hustle mirror? Mm -hmm. I had no idea they had that here. There's a Nipsey Hustle mirror. I had no idea they had that here. It's not Yeah, it's a Lipsy Hustle mirror. Ain't that something? What's this? It's by the Fred's Fish Fry. Mm -hmm. So if you're in San Antonio and you want to see a Nipsey Hustle mirror, I don't know why they have that here. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Our car's kind of shuddering. That's not good.
it's rough, you can just tell. olvidarte tantas veces tantas mentiras me has dado que tu nariz crece te he tratado de ofender mil veces cuántas veces me has dado el amor a mí y ni trato porque he tratado mil veces cuando comes mucho helado siempre creces Fuimos al acuario y compramos peces. We're supposed to go that way in the town. Hmm. A lot of people on the boat though. Little trucks everywhere and stuff. Okay, so uh, driving the town, I guess. Is this the road we were on last time? No. I think that's the road we were on last time. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes in the time where we were like, whoa, look at the hood, remember? Cuando fuimos al acuario te compré tres peces. Go, bro. Don't worry, man. Still, is there, um, are cases pricing again? We gotta be on top of that while we're on the road. Some people still wear it, though. Well, they haven't got it yet. Mm -hmm. You gotta get it at some point. But even if you get it, you can get it again. Yeah. Yeah. Then you told me somebody got it like three or four times. Yeah. And every time a new thing comes out, they get it. Yep. And there's a new one going around. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, people by that bus stop right there. I think that's the avenue we were on last time. Right there. Mm -hmm. Remember the avenue where like, it looked like Los Angeles, that's in? What a beautiful drive. And there's a Starbucks right there. No, this isn't the road. That's the road we gotta be on. One block back. Intentado mm -hmm. de... Amarte tantas veces Eres una mentirosa Tu nariz te crece You know what? You're right though Every time we've done a video With this type of lighting It's been a hit mm -hmm. And I've always been concerned If the video would do good Because of the lighting But you're absolutely right Every single time That we've done a video like this Where it's like Not quite nighttime But almost nighttime Mm -hmm. Has been a real good hit. I just realized that the Augusta video that we just did was like that. It was a hit. Mm -hmm. And I thought the video wasn't all that. It's weird how, like, what I, what I think is going to be a great hit doesn't always mean that just because I think it's going to be a great video doesn't mean it's going to be. Because this is when the people are mostly out. You got the coolness of the night, but it's not yet night yet. Yeah. yeah well, and today was a hot day. Today was a hot day, so everybody's out. Yeah. And yeah, they're coming out at night. There's a lot of life, Bob. It was too hot to do the grocery shopping then. It's warm. It's cool now. Me tratado de olvidarte tantas veces. Eres una mentirosa. Tu nariz te crece. Si alguien quiere llevarte, tú siempre te ofreces. Te vas con cualquiera. Porque eres una mujerera. Mi hermano. Yo te digo que esa mujer no es cualquiera. I don't know, I'm a horrible Mexican music singer. Mm -hmm. It's just like if, if my songs were actually on the radio, you'd be horrified. <laughs> like you love her, but she's a liar, but you don't like her, but now she's robbing you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, all the lights in the city are awesome. You are absolutely right though. Every single time we've done a video with this type of lighting has been a hit. And I'm always afraid you. to record in this type of lighting. I, I, I tell like you, it. go ahead and record. It looks cool. You know, yeah. I don't want to do that. You know what? I don't like the way you said, hey, like, like I'm an idiot. Like, you're making me sound like an idiot. making me sound like an idiot? you making me sound like an idiot, you making me sound like an idiot woman. What's about all these birds? I don't know. Hey. They're just birds. When you imitate my voice, can you not make me sound like an idiot? I don't know how to do anything else. That's like my other person talking Wow, voice. wow. When you imitate my voice, don't make me sound like an idiot, okay? 
Okay, when I imitate your voice, I'll make you sound like you're from California. Oh my gosh, I want to go to Cafe, I want to go to Starbucks. That does sound like me. And I want to go to Target and look at candles, but not buy candles. <laughs> candles. <laughs> Barbie is lonely. <laughs> that is something I would say when I was like 14. <laughs> you're playing with Barbies at 14? Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you, I was playing with toy cars till I was like 14. My yeah. parents were like, I'll say that's no longer healthy for you. <laughs> you need to get My your... parents didn't care. It's that I had a friend come over and we were like, you're still playing with Barbies? You're not supposed to do that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was there. Not with Barbies, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember being 14 and a freshman in high school and going to Kmart and buying Barbie doll clothes. Well, now I have a license plate collection and I have a toy, I have an antique toy car collection. So that's kind of like having toys in it. They are, actually, they're made toys, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Of course, now, as an adult, having a collected, so it's not like I play with them. Let's, let's, not, let's get that clear. They're just there on a shelf and I look at them. Like, if we had a Dude, daughter, so cool. like, if we had a daughter, I would be so excited because I would get to play with Barbies again. This is like a Mexican yeah. Tampa. You know how Tampa's like Cuban and Puerto Rican? It's like a like a Mexican Tampa. This city is so cool. Yeah. Michigan Avenue in Texas. Hmm. And I thought the Albuquerque looked like Hialeah. <laughs> the bad neighborhood in Albuquerque looks like Hialeah. It does. And it, it's laid out. It's almost like somebody had a billion dollars and was like, let me uh, make this experiment happen here. Let's make these two exact same. I mean, this, there's those two buildings in the same place, the same. I think we got to go this way. Were we here earlier? No, let's keep going oh. straight. It's oh, it's just here. another location. Is this guy recording? I had somebody selfie. Are we heading north? Uh, the car says we're heading east. I eventually want to find a major avenue that heads south. Can we try to find that? Possibly. Possibly. Tortilleria. They make tortillas and, and rias. This guy looks like he'd be drunk. One of the guy in a white, in an old beat up white ranger is another drunk. I'm gonna pass him. There's a, there's roads that go south. If I one that's like, like like this, you know, like has a lot of businesses and stuff. Yeah, you're gonna see a business called Mr. Juicy. Mr. Juicy. And on the other corner is Taco Cabana. You can take that south. Huh, guys carrying a couch. That is the first time we've seen that in America. Yeah. I'll tell you, we've been all over it's America. San Pedro. San Pedro? Yeah. That sounds like it would have a lot of like Mexican stores and like taquerias and stuff. Dude, the amount of taquerias in the city is insane. I love it. This is clearly, clearly becoming one of my favorite cities. Yeah, I know. Despite how trashy and, and cartel looks it looks. Yeah. You know, like sometimes it's like you're here and you feel like you're mm -hmm. It feels like a cartel-like of a city, but I still like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a nice person let this person pass. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, I tried. Are you gonna go or what? You gonna go or are go, you go, just gonna go. stay there? Well, go, women, go! And then they didn't look. Wow, they didn't look when they actually went. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Juicy, right here? Yeah. Take a right. Yeah, on San Pedro, on Go Cabana. South. Dude, how many taco places? You can live in this city and not keep, like, every weekend. Try another time. place. Oh, uh, this looks kind of dark. Are you sure this is the one we'll be on? It's a road. Does it have big businesses and lights? Let me see. There's not really that much going this way, so. Let me see where you got me. You gotta go in some scary places, bro. <laughs> I know. I'm a uh, West Hollywood. It goes into downtown. Linwood. Yeah, I'm not a fan of downtown San Antonio. Okay. Um, <sighs> got me in some sketchy looking area. Uh, leave, let, leave the directions up to Katie for two seconds. Yeah, you can't yeah. leave directions in front of me. We end up in like the sketchy. I like that house. It's got a nice door. Da -da. You don't remember? Okay, see the street that goes vertical? No. Look, so they never call Los Angeles? Mm-hmm. Okay, Beacon Hill. Yeah, I'm not good with direction. I am taking it all. Thanks for your effort, man. 
Oh yeah. Sinks for your effort. I planned our route today. Yeah, we were uh, driving for eight hours and we only made 200 miles of progress. About that. I'm just playing with you. We did good today. <laughs> okay, I want to go to that Los Angeles neighborhood. I even plan things and out. <laughs> I love our interactions. I don't know where that is. We have a definite like miscommunication problem. You see this is a street that goes vertical? No. All the streets go north to south. And then there's one street that goes vertical. I don't know how to see that. Wow. When you look at the grid pattern of the city, all the streets go north to south. There's one street to the east, to the west of us that for some reason goes north to south in the neighborhood called Los Angeles. I can't see the neighborhood called Los Angeles. Okay, I see right. Las Palmas, but not Los Angeles. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Close. But it's on the like severe west side of the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to stay on the west side of the city. Southwest. Give me the map. Yeah, I don't know. No. You see 345? See where we are? See, it's just northwest of us is 345. You see that street that goes vertical? Yeah. That's the one we want to be on. I want to get on that street that goes vertical and go northbound on it. Okay. I know you can get me there. I trust. I trust you fully. I've seen your decisions in the past. You're almost there, and you're gonna take a right. Do you GPS it? No, but I can see it. Just give me the map. I know Siri. Ah, oh, it. Every time I need to look at the map, I get a green light. It's a crap. Mhm. Siri. They do nice neighborhoods. Mhm. They don't have any taquerias. But... I'll live with that. I'll live with the fact there's no Tiger here. There's plenty of Tiger I had not noticed all the similarities between these two cities of Tampa and San Antonio until we got here. I've comido muchos tacos tantas veces. I had good food today. I am crazy. I'm singing, baby. Okay. Whenever I ask you about, you can interrupt me whenever you want to in front of important people and if I'm giving a talk, if I'm having a, you know, if, somebody's, if somebody's paying me to give them a, a consulting, you can talk to me whenever you want to, but when I'm singing, that is me time. Call me, don't, uh, what? don't interrupt me! I'm singing! <laughs> don't interrupt it! You can interrupt me whenever you want to. When I'm singing, that's me time. That's, that's personal. Are you sure this is gonna get me on that string? I love how you just ah, how you just assume the answer was yes. And you're like, sure, this will get you there. Now you can interrupt me whenever you want to, but if I'm singing, I'm a composer. When I compose, when I'm decomposing, okay, that's me time. Okay. So don't ever, ever disrespect me by talking while I'm trying to sing. Now, I'm writing a song that can make us millions of dollars. He comido tantos tacos tantas veces. Mi barriga crece, 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 crece. What do you think? You good so far? Uh -huh. I'll translate to you. I have eaten tacos so many times, my belly just keeps swelling and swelling. Good start? I like it. Can okay. you talk about the flavor of the tacos? Good point. Son sabores muy picantes. Mi estómago está gigante. The flavors are very spicy. It makes my stomach giant. Let me work on this. I'm going Can you talk about the exit too? No. That's where we lost you. He comido muchos tacos, mucha. I see that's what I'm saying. When I'm composing music, it's very delicate. I could lose the melody and then that's it. He comido tantos tacos, tan... Ah, no, that's not it. He comido muchos tacos, tantas veces. Mi barriga crece, crece, crece. De sabores muy picantes. Mi estomago ya está gigante. That went rhymes with gigante. Did someone draw a stick for honor thing? Yeah, they, there's, there's a... Yeah. Let me see. 
see what we got here. Someone bending over. So if I go north here, there's someone standing if up. If I go north here, I'll take me to the road I want to be on. Okay. Dude, this looks so much like Tampa. This is North Zara. Sorry, Zamora. I comido muchos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, crece, crece. Sus sabores muy picantes. Mi estómago está gigante. Cuando voy al baño es un olor insoportable. La gente grita, por favor, busca algo más saludable. Okay, I got to learn about pooping. When I go to the bathroom, the smell is unbearable. People ask me to eat something that's more edible. Okay. <laughs> Your suggestion worked out, man. This song about tacos is going to make me millions, bro. Imagine you go to a taco stand on a Friday night and you hear that. Yeah. He comido muchos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Okay, so there's a major street here that we're going to take that's like vertical. I don't know how far ahead it is, but it's a street we were on last time, remember? That was a really good. Sure. This is it, remember? You don't remember being here? Yes, I do remember this. I just never thought I'd be back on a Friday night so early. Yeah. I've comido tantos tacos, tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Yeah, we're going to go to the street. 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 Yeah, we're I can just see myself signing music contracts, Spotify. I have an entire album written for every city. I've made songs in Nashville. They didn't like it. Houston, they didn't like it. Baton Rouge, they definitely didn't like it. West Monroe in Monroe, Louisiana. I'm not welcome oh. back in the towns, but I wrote music in that town. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I just noticed a trend. Nobody likes my music. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody crash or something? No. This is like the Los Angeles of Texas. Mm -hmm. You'll see. Mm -hmm. You'll see what I mean. Wow, so cool, bro. The only thing that we need that would really make this night, you know what it be? Look how packed. Live music and everything. Wow. I guess the white people aren't afraid to come out here now. Friday night. Oh, look at that Cadillac. That's what I'm saying. If there's like a bunch of like Cadillacs and lowrider screws in through here, this would make... Remember we were here last time? Remember we were here? Yeah. Yeah. If there's like a bunch of lowrider screws into like Cadillacs and like... This, that would just make my day. Like I would just... I would be the happiest. Because we know... Oh, the police is over there. This is like one of the city's main strips. Like, like I really do think we could run some lowriders... Like some lower trucks. This, this is a hot neighborhood too, though. You see how packed those restaurants were? Yeah. Good money being made. I hear a train in the distance. I comido tantos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. I guess a Hummer's a thing to have here. I've seen a few. And the boy al baño su olor indecente. La gente me dice come algo más decente. I think, how far does this road go? I want to stay on this road for as long as possible. I think this road goes all the way to 410. Yeah, it does. Does it? Yes, it does. La gran fortuna. Ah, así que estamos listos. Dejé los tacos y comí arroz Y ahí también me porte como un cochino. Ha, 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 ha. 
So, <laughs> like, so I'm trying to say that for you. That's hilarious. You can play that back. Somebody timestamp that. So I quit the tacos and I started eating Chinese rice. And I also acted like a pig there. <laughs> it's like, it wasn't just the tacos, it's with the Chinese poison. Dejé los tacos y comí un arrochino. Ahí también me porté como un cochino. I left the tacos and I tried arrochino. And there I was also a cochino. <laughs> Cochino's kind of like pork. Yeah. Dude. This city is pretty neat, man. Dude, this this song, I need to copyright this song. Because one day I'm gonna I'm gonna be like in the hood and I'm gonna hear I'm gonna hear una banda playing pum 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 Dejé los tacos y compré arroz chino. Ahí también me comporté como un cochino. Me botaron del arroz chino. Comí en un lugar argentino. Ahí exploté en el baño como al pachino. So I left that and I went to a place that was Argentino. I went to the bathroom and exploded like Al Pacino. <laughs> well, uh, Al Pacino definitely is gonna like you. <laughs> I'm not gonna be welcome like, this is another city I'm not welcome back in. Dude, this, this song has potential, bro. Really one day, is. one day, you mark my words, like, one day I'm gonna get shot up in the hood. And there's gonna be like young artists are gonna go to my videos and like grab my lyrics. And there's gonna be like songs named after me. Now if I could have wrote all that, if somebody, please, somebody, somebody watch this video. If you remember my lyrics and you write it down into one song into like a paragraph for me, and then we can just, I'll pin your post if you do that. Okay. Of course you have to know how to type and read in Spanish. Mm -hmm. He comido muchos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Cuando voy al baño la gente se ofende. Me dicen que comago un poco más decente. Dejé los tacos y comí arroz chino. Ahí también me comporté como un cochino. Después fui a comer algo argentino. En el baño exploté igual que al pachino. It's a song about having bad food and making you sick. Yeah. Well, they could just go to that town in Georgia, shift to Georgia, and you could really find the, the lyrics. <laughs> you can relive that song. That is kind of, one day one of my lyrics like a news is gonna pick it up mm -hmm. a man from Florida drives around our city singing songs about disgusting music and lyrics <laughs> <laughs> a local taco shop owner says he's offended <laughs> <laughs> plans to press charges says ever since the song became popular his client base has dropped by 35 percent and those that come are just making vulgar jokes <laughs> You probably, let's just keep, keep going towards Fort I've already got it. All right, cool. Where we need. Very cool city, man. I like I like San Antonio. I'm glad we took this night drive. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can sing it one more time. They got a CBS you must here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can remember the lyrics. Because it's not so, it's like the whole. He comido tantos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Cuando voy al baño, la gente dice que es algo indecente. Dejé de comer tacos. Ahora como arroz chino. Ahí también me comportó como un cochino. Entonces fui al argentino. Fui al baño y exploté como al pachino. I think the first word was better. You know what's weird about music is all you gotta change is one word from an A to a the or something, or is to a they, whatever, and boom, the whole thing sounds wrong. Thank you for respecting my my, my ability to sing. You know, I can do that. Yeah, you can talk all you want now. I'm done singing. Unless some other lyric pops into my head. Gelato. 
over there. Comí un italiano, comí un helado, que estaba al lado de un estudio. Fui al baño y dejé todo ya muy sucio. Okay, that's, that's, that's just vulgar. Yeah. I shouldn't be singing something that vulgar. Yeah. It's about tackle. I mean, the song, you messed it up. Hey, it's your fault. What? Yeah, you messed it up. The song was about eating tacos, and now it's about diarrhea. It was you who corrupted me. I'm over here like, man, I can't believe I'm so vulgar. And I just thought about it. I'm like, wait, hold on, man. This was, this was Katie's idea. My lyrics were clean. It was about eating tacos until you got involved with the lyrical process and ruined it. It was a nice song until you got involved. Making me feel guilty about myself and I ain't done nothing wrong. He comido tantos tacos, tantas, tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Well, I did have the lyric about going on the back, but it was just one bar. It wasn't the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> it was just one bar I talked about it. It wasn't a whole song it was supposed to be about it until you got involved with the lyrical composition. But I appreciate you, you know, becoming part of the musical process, you know? Yeah, I'm trying a to be more famous, part of things. Uh, you're doing great, man. I'm really proud of you. I couldn't have done this without you. Mm -hmm. How far are we from our destination? We are 16 minutes. Oh, wow, it's still quite a ways. It gets better, but around here it looks like a normal neighborhood. But like back there, it was definitely fun. I like how the city has so much. This is a great. You know what's weird? Last time we were here at night, it was totally dead and crappy. Remember? Yeah. And then we hit up another neighborhood, and it's a completely different vibe. That, when we came into the southeast side of the city, that was garbage. Mm -hmm. There was nothing there at all. Yeah. But now we came in through here, it's, it's different. So that's what goes to show that you can go to a city and it can be dead. You go back at a different day of the week, a different time, a different neighborhood, and there's completely different vibes. I like it. Place is far off in the outskirts. I like this place a lot more. I like the agua fresca with the beef pass. Yeah, buddy. Really like a big shot. Can we tune up like a NASCAR paint shop? All the way is big, yeah. Do it right, good, yeah. Should be tuned up like a bad, 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 bad. You know the posts that I make on Facebook with all my patrons that I take? Yes. I need to start putting that on on YouTube, mm -hmm. on the community page. Yeah. As, um, how many photos are you allowed to put in there? Five? Five out of ten? I don't know. And say, okay, like, right now, like, this is coming soon as I'm uploading. You know, like, this yeah. is coming soon, that's coming soon. Mm -hmm. And let them know what to expect, man. Mm -hmm. 
create success. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Great excitement. Okay. Don't make me laugh. Oh, sorry, okay, in the next light, you're gonna act up kind of weird. You're gonna veer off to the left. That doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Let's say we talk, put up the volume, let her tell me, because your directions. At the next intersection, just veer across the left somewhere. And Don't. In the uncommon traffic. And we have way too much more, bro. Yeah. I think a lot of people that make those comments like, Miles, you guys, to the left of the British road. Give me the map, just give it, just give it. Okay. Just, just something that, 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 that's like, I think a lot of people would say, like, say those comments like, you took crazy bad, those are people like, they don't know how to have fun. Like, like the if they told their wife, if they snorted back at their wives, they'd be sleeping outside tonight, yeah. you know? But we're, we're cool with each other. Like, we have a real cool friendship. Yeah. I think most most husbands... Most husbands, if they snorted back at their wives like that, they'd be they'd sleeping be, outside. They'd but, be sleeping outside as a wife and take out the clothes. Yeah. They'd be outside in their underwear or any night. Yeah. And they'd be the last time they ever had fun. But we're fun. We don't care. Like... We are both okay at having fun at the other person's expense because we love each other that much. We just want to have love and yeah. whatever. You need to get out of this lane, boy. Uh, why? Because it will put you on a highway. So we're just staying on frontage? We're not going Yes, we're staying on okay, frontage. Okay, okay, let me see. Nobody there? If there is, they better move. Yeah. To the city. If there so is, cool. you scared them. <laughs> Stay on frontage, don't get off. Look at the view from up here. Wow. Let me take a picture of those who's driving. So cool, huh? Mm hmm What an awesome city. Mm hmm <sighs> So I'm not getting on the interstate. I'm just staying on front Yeah. Left, right, east, west. Keep going. Left, to right. Oh, keep, yeah, get over again. Okay, again, let's see if there's no way there. These tow mares make life so much harder than it has to be. Yeah. Most people actually will put tow mares in their trucks to make it look like it's more aggressive and bigger and... I'm at the point, I'm gonna really see some going back to regular mirrors. I like regular mirrors. He comido tantos tacos tantas veces. Mi estómago crece, 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 crece. Cuando voy al baño, la gente dice que es algo muy indecente. Dejé de comer tacos y fui al arroz chino. Ahí también me comporté como un cochino. Entonces fuimos a los argentinos. Cuando fui al baño parecía al pachino. Explotando y acabando es lo mío. We need to go to Puerto Rico, bro. If they voted for Puerto Rico four times and we still haven't done it. I'll let you know how much. I can't find. Oh, I'm looking for the right deal, and when I we, find yeah, the right deal, we'll, we'll, go. we'll do Puerto Rico, guys. It just has to be reasonable. Mm -hmm. We'll do Puerto Rico. They've won. Puerto Rico has won three times. We'll see how it goes in a row. The thing is, it's so expensive. It is expensive. We have to try to economize our travels. Mm -hmm. so what if I go by myself? No. I mean, I cut the price in half. No, you might like it too much. I'm just going to wait till the red press. What do you mean you might like it too much? That'd be great. That would be great, wouldn't it? No. Isn't that what you want for me to have a good time? No, not without me. Hey, that ain't right. Nothing's right. That's wrong. 